I am? No. I'm John Mendelson. I manage the Jesus ones. Hey, How you doing? Is Gary Day down here? Uh, he, he better, because I'm uh, getting a little impatient. We're going to play, we're going to play today on the uh, Howard Stern show. And if everything the whole band. Well, the Jesus Twins had the highest approval rating in the history of the E! Channel, minus maybe one or two episodes. You know it and I know it. Robin Quivers knows it, Howard Stern knows, knows that. But I also want to convey that a record label of major significance will be signed in a matter of 72 hours. The uh, band will perform today. After the band performs today, they'll perform again at Madison Square Garden. Should we succeed, we're going to come on the air and publicly announce the uh, signing of the band. And then from there, we'll go on to other talk shows. Um, the record should probably sparkle up the yin yang, and it'll go from there. Twins take over. We're not doing much talking today. We're going to be doing some singing. So, so what if it doesn't work out that you can't play today? If we don't play today, we don't play today. But we're going to ask. And it's to Stern's advantage to have my band. I agree, they're obnoxious. They're hard to work with. But that's okay. Because true geniuses are very hard to work with. Let's just say I took that diamond in the rough, shaped it, molded it, and within a few weeks, if they're on good behavior, they will be the next great heartthrobs. Hey, you know who stopped by this morning? The Jesus twins are here. Again? What are they doing in town? Did you see that big load of equipment and stuff? No. I don't even know where these guys get money. There were two trucks. There's two huge trucks. They have drunk. They want to perform here wait live. A minute, wait a minute. Didn't you tell them somehow or other that you were going to consider them for the premiere? Yeah, but I asked that idea. Oh, really? So I think they're down here to try and convince me. Did you me. tell them? Let me ask you something. It's going to take them 25 minutes to set up. Do you want to see them perform? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Let me just see these guys. Let me, let me see these two guys and then throw them out of here until they're ready to play. Now, here's the <laughs> Jesus Twins and their manager. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, and they're in braids. I never got more reaction well, to Well, that's usually how they perform. I got to tell you something, guys. You know, sometimes being in a rock band is about winning fans and friends. I never saw, like, after your appearance, there were more people who hated you. I mean, they were angry with you. Why is that? What are you doing? Are you, you turning... Do something sub subversive. When you what? What? I know I hear you. John! John, tell Can them you why me, we're John? here. John is your manager? I am their manager, Howard. That is <laughs> correct. <laughs> now, listen. Uh, uh, something strikes me as odd, that the Jesus Twins are some guys who came on my show. They, they're trying to get a music career going. I hope this is a comedy troupe. No, it's not, Robin. The, the paramount value of the Jesus Twins, surprisingly, has nothing to do with comedy. It's music. Music right. is their paramount value, which, which drives me to another point, Howard. Right. The Jesus I, Twins want to appear at the premiere. We spoke about this the other day. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut right to the chase. Please. I saw you guys went to a lot of expense. You brought down your equipment. I don't know how the hell you're affording all this. Somebody told me that your parents are very wealthy or something. Mm -hmm. Is that Completely true? superfluous. Is that true or not? Howard. No, don't tell me it's superfluous. Are your parents very wealthy? No. It's irrelevant. No? Not at all. No. Where's Howard. all the money coming from? What is it, Gary? Actually, what we heard was that, um, I mean, I can just say this, what we heard was that their father was involved in some sort of scandal, and the money was never found, and people seem to think they have it. <laughs> no, not true. <laughs> is that true? Howard, the absolutely The legend grows not. about the Howard, Jesus Twins? Howard, absolutely not. Do the Jesus Twins talk, or is it no, just you? No, let me today speak. We're today we're here, here to play behalf. music, period. We musically <laughs> kick your ass. Howard. Right. Howard, let's talk about kicking your ass. Enough of the bull crap. We're here to play. We're here to perform. Right. Um, period. Um, Robbins mentioned right. something to the fact on Wednesday. She said something about lip syncing. Right. You guys ready to perform? Right. We are here to perform. My repost was, I've been ready since I was born. Right. So this you're ready to perform live, no lip syncing. Right, right now, exactly. right here, we have the musicians aud here auditioning for the premiere. Right now. All right, fine. Right. Right. You said. Listen, let me t let me explain Howard, to you guys. Me, the premiere is pretty well locked in. This okay. is only limited time. MTV is going to be covering. Fantastic. A, a, a crews from around the world will be there. Right. You understand that. Howard, let me. You understand that. Right. So to fit somebody That's in would be here. almost a miracle. You understand that. Howard, let me make one very important note. 
Go ahead. Jesus twins I thought you said are you had something in mind for them. Is, I, had, I was going to Howard. I was going to ask them to usher people in, but I don't think Robin they, they would be insulted by that. Robin Howard, <laughs> right. let me just make one important note. <laughs> yeah. The Jesus twins are not pampered children. They're not rich snobs. They work their ass off to get to the point that they're at. What I point personally, are they at? I personally, <laughs> point along with my company and other investors, <laughs> are putting time and patience uh -huh. in the building their career. Right. I personally, as How is already. How long do you think it's going to take? I would say seven to 14 days at this point. <laughs> I want to make it very clear that <laughs> at this point, we right. have a major label company right now, a major record label company that is ready to sign the Jesus Damn Twins. I can't legally. <laughs> you're, you're putting me in a position right now right. that could put me into a lot of legal trouble, right. but there is a major record Howard, label company. Howard, enough of the crap. Let's get it. Right. 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 Here's what I want to do. Here's Howard, like to let's thing. get the music, m I would musicians like to in publicly here. Apologize to Mr. Leeds. Steve Leeds. Harvey. Harvey. Leeds. Harvey. Yeah, you made a big mistake the other day on the I air. I didn't make yeah. a mistake. I'm, I, I'm, I'm apologizing. The guy called the comments up. Comments I made. He's a big record company guy. He calls in, offers you guys a record contract, and you blow him off and tell him. That, that wasn't the mistake. The mistake was that I insulted him. What are you, a vice president, Harvey? Right, correct. He's a vice president at Epic Records. He, wants, he, he wants, wants to go see someone. your band, and he wants to check you guys out, and you're turning him down. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wow. You think that's why? These guys are original, I'll well, tell you that. I, I hope they have good luck on the wrestling circuit. Right. <laughs> we just rejected you, douchebag. You do not want to sign with them? That's irrelevant right now. Right, but you felt you should have been nicer. Well, I was in this atmosphere. <laughs> right. You got, I, you got carried away. If you if you come into this uh, milieu right. with... Uh, <laughs> milieu. <laughs> yeah. If you come in here right. and you don't take the offensive... Then right. you got caught up in the moment. Yeah, exactly. we just play the, just the freaking song already. <laughs> what song? We're wasting time. We're ready to perform. What song are you gonna perform? Feel by? my ubiquity. Okay. Howard, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. get it set up. We're wasting time. We just came in on the Los Angeles <laughs> flight. Well, what have you got to we do? We are ready to perform. Yeah, but let me the say something. The band is getting impatient. First of all, I pulled in this morning. I saw two huge sound trucks, and I said to Ronnie Limo driver, "Who are what these guys?" That? He goes out. He finds. He says, "Oh, there's some band. They're playing somewhere else." John. Get us to John. play right now. What did it cost you, John? John, what did it cost you to fly in this whole? Why is everybody whole, so concerned with the whole this? I'm just concerned. Yeah, go ahead, ha Howard. Give me the whole Gentlemen, expenditure. Please, John, let me speak. Address the question. Right. Okay. Let me address Howard's issue. Right. The whole expenditure was $15,000. <laughs> now, the reason right. that we came to the show Go ahead. was not to spend $15,000, but to exhibit the true qualities of the Jesus Twins. Not their shtick, right. but rather because of their music, I see. which is the reason that we're here. Okay. Again, feeding into your earlier point, tying that in, making a dramatic, making a logical link, the Jesus Twins <laughs> are musical you something. The talents, Jesus not twins, just shtick. Now you guys have done something special with your hair for this performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you noticed you in their video, <laughs> yes. they, they wear braids. Who braided your hair for you? Did you have a uh, whole, do you have someone who does that? A woman who travels with us. Right, and you braided your hair for, specifically yeah, for this? braided our 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 hair. Hair. Right, she Howard. braided your hair f specifically the for this performance? The braids are in when we perform. I see. The braids help you perform? Help us perform, that's right. right. They get you in a certain mood? That's right. It's there's a, got, a this psychological thing. There's got to right. be no fewer than 20 people out there with them. Really? Yeah, I mean... You didn't see it out there? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's uh, people well, really believe in you, right? They believe that you're going to be the next big Howard, star. let me address that issue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I stated on the air... Right. Howard, wait a second. I stated on the air <laughs> right. that we had people in Los Angeles, we had people in Chicago, in Detroit, Detroit, mm -hmm. here in New York, that love the Jesus Twins. And to paraphrase a, a point I made mm -hmm. that made Robin laugh, we have a strong approval rating right now. Where? Where? <laughs> Where? It's all over. How, you Jackie, how do you know Jackie, that? Jackie, if you have how something you to say, it? you don't have to cough it. How did we get it? it? We <laughs> earned it, Robin. Why is that? <laughs> where? I mean, who knows say it, you pussy. Wait, wait, there's nothing, this is right, side thing. Say, you say whatever you want. But jerks. It doesn't matter. We're not here to fight. We're here to play, period. Right, they're here That's to prove themselves musically. We Listen. came here from Los Angeles to play music. Now let's get the damn instruments here. All right, all right, all right. I have to say something. I auditioning. Right. I don't expect you to put your ass on the line and say, show up at Madison Square Garden. Because you see play. a video. Right. Just Watch us right here. Let me see you live. Let me see what you do. Now, listen, I, what is it, Gary? Okay, I, I do not want to compromise Baba the Jesus Bowie. Twins, but for us to be able to air what Baba they're going to do. Everyone right. wants to sound like their manager. Right, 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 for, us yeah. to, for us to air what they're going to do, <laughs> it would take us a day to mic the setup that they have in others. Right. They can set up their equipment, but we can't mic it. We need a huge mixing board. Right. We can have the, everything. Everything's can, in the truck. You have a mixing board? Everything. You have a truck. 
A truck. Two trucks. You have two, two trucks. trucks. I was going to say, wow. could the Jesus b twins play in a sort of uh, more stripped down thing? Because I don't think we, we have the whole Motown band how, here. How, well, where are they going to set up and how are they going to get Well, they could set up over there, but it's going to take hours. It takes hours. Hour. Are you sure? Show. Yes. How all right, all right. here's what it? I want you to do. How here's what I do. have everything set up. Why don't you have the engineers meet with the Jesus twins okay. and their management okay. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, let them set up, and I will listen to this. And I think we should have a, a panel of five people. I'm not interested in a panel. I I'm am. I'm not interested in the Ricky Lake crap. No, we well, should have a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not open for negotiation. Yeah, right. Let me Howard. speak. <laughs> when you say a five-member panel, right. will the, will, who will be a member? Who will the uh, five members be? Go ahead, Gary. Okay, uh, it could be if you don't. We, it could be Steve Leeds from uh, from a major record company. It could be uh, Ross Abram from Geffen Records. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. I could get guys from all the major labels. I get representatives from every major Compromisable. label. Compromisable. Compromisable. What? what? What do you mean? What does that mean? I think he means acceptable. Oh. Is synonym. That? I don't think he knows. Compromisable. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's acceptable. It's acceptable. It's a right, synonym, that's Robin. Go figure. I understand him. <laughs> <laughs> no, cinnamon is a spice. No, I said right. compromisable, not synonym. Okay, all right. Listen, we'll get. <laughs> we, we need an all-star panel. I can't leave this up to my own judgment. I will be part of the panel. Fair enough. All right. Okay. All right. When are we going to do this? Hey, Jesus Twins, I'd love to see the managers you rejected. <laughs> I mean, I, I can... Uh, he, he's or, he Howard, believed in you let from the beginning. You so, let me tell you something about John. He right. may be a little weird. Right. But he makes Don Buckwald look like a dilettante in the industry. Really? You feel <laughs> that he... You feel that see, he every, at first, it's like, <laughs> yeah, look, this guy is, like, insane. And he is insane. Right. But he, that, that's he why loves he's you. great. He loves you. He's sick in the head. And right. Great. And he'll do anything for the band, right? Exactly. Without right. question. Without question. You believe in these guys' musical I ability? I do believe in their ability. Okay. All right. Why don't we do this? Wait, does somebody on the phone want to speak to you? I'm not I'm taking not, any I'm phone not calls interested. Right now. We're taking phone calls. We're taking phone calls. You don't have to say a word. <laughs> All right. Hello. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yes. Don't even let these guys uh, usher people in. Let them sweep up afterwards. At the <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to respond to anything. I'm here to play music, period. Right. You guys suck. It's <laughs> right. I'm not even going to respond. Your music blows, man. All right, great. All right, listen. What you're saying is you want the Jesus Twins to clean up uh, Madison Square Garden after we do the premiere? Hey, let them, let them sweep the streets, man. Right. And by the way, this is Ivan Reitman on the phone. Oh. <laughs> now, don't Howard. look to get Enough into the, the movies. Crap. Let's get All right, music. you're ready to play some music. Of course, right. the fans have uh, an animosity and an antipathy towards us right. because... <laughs> we came off very arrogant, right. but we're here to play music. I see. And we'll You're here to prove yourself to the exactly. fans, even. Right. Okay. Listen, it's about winning people over with your music. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> if not, you better start antagonizing them. All right. Let's, um, let's take a break. Take the, a break. The negotiations will go off. Negotiations won't. There's no more negotiations. No, the you engineers set up. have to talk. Yeah, let the engineers they don't get have together. Talk, they just have to bring everything in. Right, get everything in, and then we'll see if we can hook all this equipment up. Obviously, you have a big rig. How many people are with the Jesus Twins? Got to be 20. There's backup singers. There's security guards. Backup singers. There's Hispanic security guys that don't guards. actually speak English that are carrying equipment. This is earth, wind, and fire. Who this set all this up? What is the Jesus Twins? What if I had what said no that you can't be on today? What would you have done? No guts, no glory. Right. You just went for it. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. It's a homeless convention out there. Okay. It's not a homeless convention. Hey, here's some girl who went to high school with you. She wants to get on the air. Hi. Hi, this is Tracy. What high school this did you Tracy. guys go to? Oh, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, why are you guys saying that you're from Los Angeles originally? No, no we're said from originally. New York. We live there. They live in Los Angeles now. Well, they went to high school with me. Oh, they did? And were they were they this arrogant? When were they, they the Jesus twins then? No, they, they actually call themselves Razzy Berry. <laughs> Razzy Berry? <laughs> I have no recollection of that. Yeah, Get this bitch off the phone. Ask me to draw <laughs> naked pictures of women for covers for your album. So you guys were Razzy Berries when you were uh, younger? I have no, I have no uh, idea. And how are they were much they were much more heavy metal then? I see. All right. Well, they've grown musically. How do you know what the other weird thing we heard about them was that they were squatting in an apartment in Los Angeles for Listen. like three months and they wouldn't leave. Yeah. And that um, they they had to take turns leaving the apartment because if they would have both left at the same time, they would have padlocked it. <laughs> and true. Oh my god. True. And that when they finally did leave, they had taken a uh, notebook paper with song lyrics and pasted them all over the walls and hung sheets and basically trashed the apartment. Is that true? Um, I heard stuff like that. All right. So where do they get their money from? Do you know? Are you a rich girl? Um, they had a pretty decent background. All right. So they have money. Somebody in this group well, must we have grew money. Up on Long Island. Jonathan they went to Mendelson. High School. What high school? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. Lawrence. You guys grew up rich. F these are five-town five town boys? Five-town five town boys. Five oh, town boys. Oh, 
Now the truth comes I out. I was born in Manhattan. I don't know who this bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't believe that you guys are doing that. Would you hang, to hang out at the Dunkin' Donuts? If you don't have anything nice to say, you could hang up. All right. And what about your dad? Was he a rich guy or something? My dad was incarcerated for, was seven, he really? for seven years. What for? Embezzlement. Really? So did you guys get all the money? No, there was no money. Look, there was no I'm, money? Not, I'm not trying to like be rude. Well, why I mean, don't you say I was something nice? I'm in high school. So is your dad out of jail now? Be like oh, so you're close to him or uh, yeah. oh, you are? Yeah. I was close with him. How come he couldn't get away with the embezzlement? What, what happened? He screwed up? And no money even after he embezzled? He, uh... <laughs> Want to go into this? Yeah. yeah. Come on, we're here to play music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, this is better, believe me. <laughs> this is much better. Yeah, get sympathy from the audience. Right. There you go. Yeah, this might win over the audience, actually, if you got a sad story of whoa. What happened? All of a sudden, your dad had to go to jail. Was that mind-blowing to you? Um, well, first, he he uh, was a fugitive. He went to Canada. We used to visit him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this what's is so exciting. funny, Howard? That's funny, man. <laughs> what do you mean, what's funny? You had to visit your dad in Canada? That's funny. Uh, yeah. So then uh, he got caught, and we came back, and he was uh, in jail. Really? And Did you go visit him in jail and stuff? Yeah. Uh, like uh, every Where was every he in month. jail? Upstate. Oh, yeah? Was yeah. it one of those federal prisons? No, no, maximum security. Oh, really? He, they because he, uh, they he felt he was a uh, escape risk. Oh, really? Right. So but now all his legal problems are over and he's back in business. Is he with your mom or they no, broke up? No, they split up. Yeah, your mom must be hot, huh? <laughs> you stumped the Jesus. <laughs> Don't start, Howard. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm asking if your mom's hot. Don't even start with that kind of crap. Really? I'm just going to get pissed off. Really? You can't handle that. I told you we're here to play music today. <laughs> John, 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 get some results here. Yeah, come on, get things well, going. First of all, one thing that I learned in college and also when I was in varsity oh. debate, only speak when you have something to say. I found this to be quite interesting. Right, this is the Listening background. Listening is my paramount value, which <laughs> brings me to another important note. <laughs> right, I love him. you see. <laughs> oh, he's great. <laughs> Howard, Howard, <laughs> right. let's let's cut the crap for a minute. Let's talk about the premiere. Go ahead. Let's do this. All right, let me hear the music, right, and then Howard, I'll talk about the premiere. Howard, listen, I'm All not right. here to give some verbose dissertation that right. will last 20 to 40 minutes. All right, let these guys start setting Howard, up. Howard, set up. let me yeah. speak, let me speak, let me speak. <laughs> yes. All I'm asking of you is to allow the Jesus Twins to perform today. All right. Yeah, if yeah, and only right. if yes. a conditional statement, if and only if they sound good, allow them to open up. All right, now here's can the problem. Night. Yes, What's you can. What's the problem? How, how come you guys call yourself the Jesus Twins? Are they Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> half, half Jewish. And, uh, I'm, half Jewish. And I'm proud of that. You are There's proud of that. There's nothing wrong with being half Jewish. Right. Now listen to me. <laughs> no, there's something. Yeah, which half are you Jewish? Yes. Now let me just say something about well, it. Let me, Jews for Jesus let me get rid. You know, I'll get rid of Tracy. Okay, listen to me. Here's the deal, because I got a million things going on today, as you know. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked up into a lot of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to indulge you. I'm going to let you play here. Okay. I'll let you play a song. Fair enough. All right. You know that the premiere. I'm telling you this straight. We already the premiere know it's a big is locked deal. in. It's locked in. It's very hard at this point to add some musical entertainment. One song. I, if I like the song and the panel of judges likes the song right. and I'll go to the audience as well if they want you there I'll find some way to finagle you into this thing right. so there now all right that's what you want no, that's, that's it we need. compromisable that's it. compromisable Howard. compromisable Howard. I agree uh, <laughs> Car Howard please well, please the negotiations right. over what I agree I agree I'm, I'm, I'm with giving everything you to all the demand I agree with everything you say yeah now Another thing I want to ask you. Well, get the band. I have a label company, a, a record la company. It's a, 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 ma a major record That's company. Right. <laughs> yeah. That is ready to sign these guys within the next seven days. All right, all right. If I can get a commitment from the twins and a commitment from my other business partners to sign the agreement, can we do it live here within two weeks? Would sign your record contract live? Yeah, no. we want to do it live. Yes, I would. I would allow that. Why would you allow? That's so boring. Because uh, uh, believe me, it won't be. Crap, let's get <laughs> <to> <laughs> music. Um, all right, all right. So why don't you guys now go with your right. band, get it together, and we'll watch you perform. Right. Fair enough. All right. I need some coffee. Can you get us some coffee? No. Right now, I couldn't feel better. I want to thank my coach, my debate coach, Kevin Baskey, for teaching me one important role. No one to speak, no one to shut up and get the deal closed. And that's exactly what happened today.
Let me give the Jesus Twins their shot now. First of all, before the Jesus Twins perform, for those of you listening at home, obviously you can't see this on E yet, the Jesus Twins have actually gone to quite, ex quite an expense here. I mean, they've flown in a whole band. They got like three background singers. Did you see what's going on here? Yes, I, I met everybody out in the hall. You did? Took about a half hour for that receiving line. And they got a, 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 a three guitarists and a drummer. And a, a whole road crew. Even security people. Yeah. And the whole band is black. Except for the Jesus Twins. Except for the Jesus Twins. <laughs> now, do you, they really consider themselves a band, a group, or are they, these people just working for the Jesus Twins, and the Jesus Twins are really it? Are you guys Are you guys a, a band, a solid band, or is it just like guys, that, do you guys really uh, plan on staying together? Is it, uh, Absolutely. You do? I can't hear what these guys are saying. Let me see if I can agree. Let me see if this works. Hey, you guys say something. Absolutely. No, I can't hear. Doesn't it. work. That's what I thought. <laughs> Gary, get in here with the wireless, will you? Yeah. Guess not. By the way, while uh, Gary's getting the wireless... I mean, who writes the music? I do. I, I didn't want to say. Uh -huh. No, the Jesus Twins. Your Jesus Twins write the music, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, Matt Pollock is here from Electro Records. How you doing, Howard? And uh, he is a big guy at Electro Records. No Thank kidding you. around. He looks like a pissed off guy. <laughs> yeah, he is a pissed off guy. <laughs> he's already pissed off. Ready to be impressed. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, this guy's from Electro Records. I mean, he's a big deal. What? I can't hear you. How does this work? Gary, you got to turn it on, pal. It is on, Howard. It's on. It's on. We have no equipment that works. It's <laughs> pathetic. The show is pathetic. Very good. Are you got it up on your end? I don't know. I have no idea what I have to do. Anyway, also uh, here today is Harvey Leeds. He is from Epic Records. Steve Leeds is here today from Universal Records. Where is everybody? Yeah, I I'm, see I'm announcing names and not, no one's here. Steve. I, I see Steve. I don't see Harvey. <laughs> what, what's going on? Where it says highlighter on the sheet, where he's on car phone. Oh, oh, Harvey's on a phone. <laughs> I was going to say, where's Harvey? Harvey looks like crackhead Bob. <laughs> Harvey's very heavy. <laughs> and, right, and, Steve. And Ross is running late. He oh, okay. Well, who cares about Ross? He don't know Bob what he's doing anyway. Crackhead Bob is here as well. How are you, Crackhead? I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're a little hoarse, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What was he doing? Oh, all, all the dining and telling. Oh, you want to run out That hurt your voice? Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, and it's... Switch these. And it's... What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, uh, Crackhead Bob actually uh, was out online trying to get tickets for the premiere. Did he get tickets? Yep. You got yep. tickets. Yep. Yep. He got them. He did. Yep. And uh, Matt, does does the does crackhead Bob smell? Um, Steve, switch seats with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you smell? I don't mean that in a bad way. Were you out there all night? Oh my God! Yeah. Now so the last you time, cleaned yourself. That's I just it. wanted you guys to come in here because you are music professionals. Come in here and evaluate the Jesus Twins. They're looking to get a shot at the premiere. I said I give them a shot. They got their whole band, they flew it in. Be fair with them, all right? I mean, you know, don't uh, try to be We're fun. here with an open mind. All right. And uh, I know Crackhead Bob, I'm going to ask you to represent all fans. Tell okay. me what you think. Okay. Last time the Jesus Twins got into uh, an altercation with Crackhead Bob. But you can put that all behind you and okay. judge him with right. an open mind. Now, you, are your microphones and stuff working? Let me hear the guys. Let me just, hear, let me just hear if they're working. Well, all I can right. hear them now. There you go. Let me see if I can hear you. All right. You, all right, you guys are all set. All right, all right. All right. All right, let's see what happens. Here they go. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Right. Oh, come on now. Feel my ubiquity. Feel my ubiquity. Feel my ubiquity. Look at him now. All right, where the pigeon chill know my name. Yeah, the incense is burning to me on the street. Transvest that bones, the air will bleed. On the coast of DC, I'm busy. Uh huh, read a letter for the history here. Brotherly love, but I'm a missing troll. Like the Liberty Fair, this on the Washington Post. Yeah. 
<laughs> the guy's jumping around. Oh, there's Ross. Ross, <laughs> Ross listening. <and> <laughs> Ross, it doesn't matter. Ross has an opinion no matter what. <laughs> and boys, uh, Jesus Twins, how do you feel? Are you... Uh, wow. <laughs> they, were, uh, they were jumping up and down and doing this song. They were dancing? They did the whole routine. Man. Uh, Jackie slipped me a note. He says, hey, why don't you tell the Jesus Twins we want the band without them. Oh. <laughs> the band is, band is great. The band did a run. Very soulful. Guys, no now, guys, uh, how do you feel afterwards? Where's Gary with the wireless? Ready to go again. You're ready to go again. Wow. <laughs> well, Wait, these guys are out there. You need another song? You need to see another song? No, I don't need to. Do that one. Now, uh, who so, wants to go so for this is, So this is what's going on in Lawrence, Long Island right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, no wait way. a second. Let's, uh, well, uh, who wants no to start way. with the uh, critique? Yeah. Crackhead Bob, you want to go first? Not me. You don't want to go first? I'm going to no, well, start with Steve. Howard. Start with Steve. John in the studio. Why don't you get John in the studio? John. John. Stuttering John? No, no. I'm manager. John. Your manager, yeah. Let him get in here to. Uh, you, he are you guys all right? Now, you obviously put a lot of energy into this performance. Yeah, I it's mean, dancing and singing. Are you tired? No, no, no. I mean, they were really dancing and singing oh, at the yeah, same time. Oh, yeah, they were all over the place. This is what we were meant to do. This is and what we were born. You were born to do. How's the band feel? Do you guys feel everything went well, successful? Yeah. Yes, very yeah. good. Smoking. All right. Do they know each other? Do you guys, does the band know <laughs> each other? Do you guys all know each other? Do you rehearse? That's a good question. Is there any rehearsal? Or, uh, Gary, can you get the microphone back there? you got to <laughs> kind of read the situation. Yeah, musically, we know each other. Do you guys? Yeah, musically, we know each other. We've been together for a while. That's right. So you played with the Jesus Twins a lot before. For the last two months. Yep. Last two months. And the backup guys, you got your own thing going? or uh, I've known them for 
four years. You have. He, he was our old boys coach. He's your boys four coach. Four years ago. Are you happy with your uh, students? They're doing good? Uh, I'm, I, at first they employed me. Now they're employing me. You uh, answer that one. Right. I see. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, okay. Who wants to go first? I know uh, Harvey, your brother Steve, is on the phone. They're both big record executives. <laughs> you want to let him go first? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me see if we can find him. Harvey. Harvey, you there? Harvey? He has a history with them. Yeah, this is the second time he's been in. Uh, having a hard time here with our company technical. of the Jesus Twin. Howard, can you hand me one of those waters? Yeah. Harvey. He crashed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to give up on Harvey, and we're going to go over to his brother Steve. Steve, what are you thinking? Well, um, I, th I think uh, visually it's very interesting. Um, by the way, I should point out Steve was reading the sports section of the Post oh, the during the performance. All right, all right. Uh, what did you think? I, I like the musicianship. Um, there's something happening visually. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious as to what the Jesus Twins think their audience is and who they're focusing their music to. Our mu our audience at this point, the general public will be transformed as far as listening to a new Cro trend. It's a crossover thing. John, take it's control. A crossover thing. Right now. You give it to John. John. Right. <laughs> now, what was the question again? Can you <laughs> <laughs> no, just no, sorry, sorry, you are. Ah. This is in reference to it's the okay. audience Bob, Bob visually. Explain, Bob will explain to you. All right. I, I have two answers for that. One of the beauty, yep. one of the beautiful aspects about this group is that it's multiracial. It's very oh. rare that you'll find a multiracial group. Secondly, well, it's very melodious. How many races are in the group? <laughs> two. There are two. There are two. Ah. Right. But it's uh, still. <laughs> I say that's biracial. It's multiracial. That's a biracial group. But, it, but it's also very melodious. And after listening to this, everybody that desecrates the vision and the image of the Jesus Twins because of obnoxious behavior learned a very important lesson today. What's that? That the Jesus Twins are for real, that I am not mentally insane for taking these guys on. And let's just <laughs> okay. say that the wait, newest wait. millionaire in America today is Jonathan F. Mendelson. And then that would be you, multi right? Multi-millionaires are the Jesus Twins, Eric and Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please give them a round of applause. <laughs> I think the new rich guy is the guy who rented them the equipment. So huh? what, what does yeah, right. The new me? rich guy is the guy who made 15 grand on the equipment. <laughs> now you're well. saying that the Jesus Twins will be discovered today. This is a great day in the Jesus Twins Howard history. Our past tense, the Jesus Twins have been discovered thanks to you. Thank you. So please, band members, let's give Howard Stern a round of applause. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Howard, Howard, you should just check. Uh, Steve also was about to voice his concerns about the band. All right, go ahead. So what is your concern? Go ahead. My issue You've always been honest. Never, we've never talked. We've, we're talking here about money. And, and things like that. I haven't heard the word passion discovered. I'm concerned what the band's real self-image because we see full Let me page address the issue. Excuse I don't me. Think well, me. Well, let wait, the band speak for themselves. We see too. a full-page ad in Billboard. Okay. We see you sp throwing around a lot of money, coming here, groveling to try to play the premiere. And, you know, that's, that's fine. I give you a lot of credit for effort. I think the music has some validity to it. I'm just concerned what's really behind all this. What's the passion? Where would you guys play, other than if Howard's unable to put you on his show? What venue in New York City or in Los Angeles would you guys see yourself and your audience gravitating towards? Well, if Howard can't um, let us play at Madison Square Garden this week, we'll be back in a month. Playing there. Right. Once your record hits. Where, where have you guys so played publicly to this to this point? It's irrelevant. But I will <laughs> say <laughs> this. very relevant. Hello? I, I will say this. Where are your fans coming from if they haven't seen you perform outwardly right. other than through Howard's graciousness? <laughs> It's it's not it's not no, an it's not important real, issue. No, it We're is an issue. You talk about fans me, I'm, and I'm audience. overcoming a cold, so you have to forgive me. Right. right now, if you're overcoming a cold, why did you shake my hand before? Oh no! Sorry, oh, Howard. Boy. Anyway, the House of Blues, Billboard Live, AfterShock. Practically every club in Los Angeles wants them to play. That's not what we're seeking. What we want is a record label to sign the boys. That is their paramount value. The reason that we came to the Stern Show had nothing to do with the shtick. The shtick was nothing more than a lender getting us to the top. That's all it served. What language is he just using? Just a buffer. Uh, <laughs> a stairwell. Dude, you got a whole nother lingo. A lender? Dude, you're way past Ebonics. <laughs> the music. So That's all we cared about. So, John, has the band, has the Jesus Twins performed in public other than... Well, well let me ask you something. I got I to step in here, Steve. You're being awfully tough. What is your critique of the band? Never mind where they're going to perform. Well, 
H Howard, I, th I think they're very good, but my concern is, is when we take them to the marketplace, is marketing. Who is going to be into them? Do you think, do you think they could find an audience? I have business partners right now affiliated with Motown, affiliated with um, Spielberg's company, among others. <laughs> I'm talking about the record Dreamworks. company. Thank you very much. DreamWorks, the record company. Right. We do have people that want it. Which he wasn't supposed to mention on the air. Uh, Hold on a second. You know, Howard, this is a perfect time because they keep talking about that they have this um, possible deal with Geffen, mm -hmm. and Ross works at Geffen. Have you heard anything about the uh, signing for the there Jesus Twins? There have been some questions raised saying, who is the Jesus Twins? Yes. There have been. That's it. There, there have been. <laughs> there have been, right. What's the answer? Now, Ross, <laughs> what is the answer to that question? <laughs> Why then? <laughs> uh, that's why I'm here today. But right. no, but Steve makes a, a valid point. Did I you mean, get to hear the Jesus Twins, or yes, you were like, you were I was standing in the uh, you in the control room right, watching. Well, you did hear it. I did. I hear did it. watch it. the whole no, thing. No, but too. but Steve makes a valid point. It's something called fan Excuse base, me. and it's right. it's very important to find out what the band so has. You're telling you, you're telling me at Geffen they were asking who are the Jesus Twins. There was some really? questions. I will raised. make a prediction right now. All right, go ahead. Why uh, now, he's all fueled up now. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Never mind. What is the prediction? Go ahead. Be, don't hey, don't cop out. Now you're gonna be brave or what? What was your prediction? Without sounding arrogant. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Go ahead. That's what got you here. I believe our debut album. Go ahead. Will break all records. Really? <laughs> including Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. And. <laughs> Uh, people are excited about Alanis Morissette. The, band, the band is about substance. The song that we performed today was written for a soundtrack specifically. Right. We have a whole plethora of different songs that run the gamut as far as every emotion. Right. And this is just tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I wish they'd done something else. So we <laughs> heard. <laughs> 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 as far as a th uh, excuse me. All right. So wait a second, Crackhead Bob. What is your opinion? Did you uh, get moved by the music at all? Every year, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's it's. Yeah, go ahead. But every year, I was, that I like that. But that so oh, it was it was studio. just not. Can I have a cigarette? Right there? You like the whole band except for the Jesus Twins? Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. It's what? I think that's, that's about me. the most it's honest uh, appraisal we've done. Take this seriously. Well, I mean, he's, he's, he's your fan. He's a listener. Oh, nice. He's, my, it's your he's my adversary right now instead yeah. of well, but I, but he, he's but he's I If he cannot give an honest I opinion, if he can't give a disinterested uh, verdict, then uh, what's the... I, I don't see him... You don't feel he's being honest. Way, shape, form, no, you feel I am. He did like something. He had a... He liked the band. Yeah, that was okay. Thank you. And they're playing your music, right? All right. There you go. John, you want to take over? Right. Hey, John, do you have a tape? All right. Can we Howard. get a tape? John? John? I'm sorry. What was now, the now, now, wait a second. What about... What, Hold on one second. Do you have an audition tape that we could take back to our companies? Really? You would? Oh, sure. You would? Oh, really, Steve? What the hell? What are you going on here? here? <laughs> Absolutely. We have, we have a bidding war. Yeah. 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 Is there a bidding war? We have a CD. When we get back to Los Angeles. Let me ask you something. The manager. We it. You get it. Let me ask the manager something. Thank you. Howard, please. Now, there seems to be a bidding war over the Jesus Twins between Geffen Records and, of course, uh, Steve's label. Affirmative. What? Right. Now, who, how will you, how will you <laughs> pick a label? What about that other guy? What does he have to well, say? Well, first of all, well, the money is not the only Matt, issue. what do you say? I, I think, I think the band is, is really soulful. I think the guys are, are great live, and I think the I twins know. got some yeah. really great moves. I think you guys were a little bit out of sync, but I think that might have been because you were a little bit nervous, maybe, and there's not a lot of room to move. Are you telling me Electra Records is, has interest I in I did not boys? say that. Oh, I, I see. You're bowing out of the bidding war. No, I'm not bowing. I just want to say that, you know, I think all the record guys here expressed the same thing. We thought the music was, you know, it's a bit compelling and they're and they're fun to watch, but where do you go with this? And as a record company, you got to look at it not just musically, but you got to look at it. Is there a market for this? Do you think there is a market? Why don't we do I, this, it, gentlemen? Can I ask you? Go ahead. Wait, 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 you go ahead. What do you want to do? All right, here's what I'd like to do. I want to speak with each and every one of you. Bob, I'll buy you a drink at Scores. But anyway, the other three, I want to speak with each of you, and then hopefully what we can do is I'll get together with my business people, CPA, lawyers, et cetera, and hopefully wow. within about seven days, I will be back on your show. Right. We will sign a contract, right. and then you will buy me a drink at Scores, except that I don't drink alcohol, so you'll owe me a Diet Coke or an orange juice. I see. So you feel confident now that the Jesus Twins are on their way. I have one question. Howard. You've made it so many it's times. Not, uh, Let me see what the people are saying. Let me go to the phone. Can I ask one question? Yeah, please. go ahead, Jackie. Th these, we got all these record company guys here. These guys spent 15 grand to come out here, and they just asked him if they have any kind of a demo or anything. He said, well, we got it back in Los Angeles. Why would he come all the way out here without yeah. a demo? With well, they didn't know they would be meeting record yeah. company guys. We, well, eight, I believe eight to ten videos and CDs were here originally right. from two weeks ago. Those went right in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but then, <laughs> <laughs> the original ones you said were right in the garbage. Then after we knew who you were, we 
kept one. Oh, there you go. But you guys should, you know, you've traveled back and forth a few times. Book a show in New York. Find a small club and right see now, what's out there. Shows. I don't think that's a bad idea. Why don't, why don't we do this? Why don't you and I get together after the show? Oh, God. What is this? Yeah. 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 All right, let's see what the uh, audience well, thinks of the Howard, Jesus Howard, Howard, let's talk about the premiere right now. Hold on a second. Let me you see what be, the fans you say. you got to check with the fans. Be uh, Chris, what do you think? I think that the uh, – I personally don't care about their what their personalities are like, but I just think the music sounds like theme music from a gay porno. You think it's gay porno music? Well, there's a market for that. <laughs> Evidently. There's the market. Now we know where to send them. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, Steve, what do you think? I think they should change their name to the Below Average White Band. <laughs> you got, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> pro wrestling where they belong. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Isn't this all superfluous if we have record company guys respected in the business mm -hmm. and we're going to... Um, we're going to do gorilla screening. What is that? What are you doing? Is that, is that Actually, it's not superfluous because these are the people no, who would put down... Yeah, these would be people who would parenthetically put down $15 to buy your CD. So well, it's not I, irrelevant. As small they were in the studio. I, I don't but know. that's just it, though. Yeah, when you These hear people it on the radio. Telling you to go out I'm not your record, if, if your record goes on the radio, say, I mean, people can't see you. I George, mean, uh, it's well, do, 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 should we have these guys to the premiere? Howard, I've been a fan of yours for 15 years. Mm -hmm. I'm begging you, okay? Please, on behalf of all your fans, do not bring these guys to your premiere. <laughs> I am begging you, Howard. I've been a fan of yours and for me 15 too. years. And you, you're begging Please. me, too. You this do is not just want one individual. Hi. What kind of music do you listen to? What kind do of music do I listen to? Do you listen to this kind of music, or do you prefer heavy metal? I listen to all kinds of music, and this, like let me tell you, is horrible. Guy. <laughs> okay, uh, well it sounds just, terrible. Just one opinion, guys. All right. Okay, so no, but in all seriousness, it's two what opinions. type of music do you okay, prefer? So. Howard. Right. John, Howard, What type yes. of music do you prefer? We're not F dealing with the phone calls. And the we're here to consummate the deal. And right, I understand leave. what you're saying. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me take one more phone call, all right? John, That's, That's so. Right. So, uh, what did you think of the music? Uh, I think there's a jumping on your good nature there, Howard, man. I, I mean, you're always rooting for the underdog. Right. There are other bands down in Soho that sound a lot better. I mean, uh, I I'm not saying anything bad about these guys. I'm just saying, like... Well, they're up the here. They're trying. They get this is John break, Mendelson. You know? I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> I just have one very important Sign question to ask you. Go ahead. Forget... Yeah, I don't think they Forget any like prejudice. Like what did you think about my band? Do you, do, you, do you like their music? <laughs> you, if you were in the Motown, would you like this music? <laughs> no, please. All right, All right listen, listen. Never mind his opinion. Okay, here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's focus on business. Charles. All right, I will meet with my people and see if there's any room for the Jesus Twins at the premiere. That is not what you said. That's what I said no, I would do. No, 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 if no, I, no. I cannot uh, guarantee them a spot. If it was good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, what do you think? Yeah. It was fine that I would go consult with people. Yes. Uh, I am willing to do that. <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Howard, on a scale of uh, one But I ten. can't be responsible. People start throwing Howard. stuff at you. Yeah, that's go ahead. On a scale no. of one oh, to ten, no, that, what would that's you grade it. this? Right. <laughs> what on a say? scale of one to ten, what would you grade this? Don't put me on the spot like that. Come I'm not going to ask. No, I'm not going to give you one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, what would you uh -uh. grade it? I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> I am not going to play the game. You guys want to go that game? play the game. Okay, Matt, go ahead. A scale of one to ten. I'd say a six. All right, Steve? I'd, I'd say the musicianship is a, a, a seven, uh, yep. the performance is a six, and uh, not having a CD to listen, listen to. Listen, I don't give a rat's ass who these record people. Here you go. What they saw. Uh, hey, 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 hey. One more label. People this who think it's a ten. Uh -oh. I don't need. These people. Uh, uh, hey, there's always room to grow, guys. Six, six is not bad. I mean, well, we're not going to sit here and give you a nine. I mean, a nine. The Beatles didn't get a nine. Pearl Jam. We're better than the Beatles. Right? <laughs> you are better than the Beatles. Oh. Uh, crackhead Bob, do you want to give a number? Said. Dad. Gary, what did you think of the music? Wait, 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 let Crackhead Bob go first. What? There. Take a minute. But yeah. you gotta go. For that. For that. Yeah. For that. For the band. Yeah, for the and that. Two. Two. A two. <laughs> for the guy, is that two? Well, yeah, that's love. That, that's me. That's me. He thinks that's, that's me. Oh. All right, Ross. So, uh, I'll, I'll give so him a seven. I mean, there's always room to grow. You guys only played around for, you know, a few months, right. maybe a couple of years. All right, well, those know, are nice scores. Those are nice scores. Yeah, they're not I, was, I, I mean, it's not awful. I'm yeah. saying if you guys were interested and you were, le as, as far as a, le a legitimate interest in the group, then how would you how would you say that a six would be something that you'd be interested in? Let me uh, I, six, that doesn't. If we weren't even interested, I can speak for myself, not the others on the panel here. If I was not interested, it would have been what, like what Bob gave you, which is a two. You know what? I'd yeah. like to see you again. I'd like to see you in an environment where you can move around on stage, where you're not tripping over well, yourself. Hopefully this Thursday. 
Well, well, you should book it at the club. Howard, no, the no, premiere. No, 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 no. That's not the place. No. <laughs> no. The premiere might not be the place. So listen, guys, I can't make any promises. I told you that up front. I got to talk to the people because even the people at MTV, I wanted to have more bands than I'm having now. They've already axed They've half the bands. Cutting you back. So if I can squeeze you in somewhere, I don't know. I'm going to look into it. That's the best I can do for you. That's the best I can do. I can't complain about that, Howard. Right. You can't. You can't complain about that. But I guarantee this. Uh -oh. If you give these guys just uh -oh. that one song, right. three to five minutes maximum, <laughs> yes. here's what we'll do. We'll put you on the VIP guest list <laughs> for our House of Blues. That's right. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. Because we plan <laughs> to have a record label cut within the next seven to 14 days. A label cut. With <laughs> or without the premiere. I understand. But with the premiere, it would be even better. It would accelerate that. Okay. Oh, very good. question. All right, listen, the acceleration I, would definitely be dramatic. All right, listen. First of all, I want to thank the band and the Jesus Twins for coming in yes. today. They Definitely. did a very nice job. All right, you put yourselves on the line. You came in and you played. It was entertaining. That I want to thank nuts. I want to thank Matt Pollock of Electra Records. I want to thank Steve Leeds of Universal Records. Harvey, I don't know where you are. Ross Zapin of Geffen Records and Crackhead Bob of Old Baby Records. Old <laughs> <laughs> right, so oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. So so. So uh, I will look into it. I promise you that. How's that? All right. Thank all you. right. That's all I Thank can do right now. I'm not in charge it. of the event. <laughs> all right. Would you guys be willing to play a benefit for uh, Alec Baldwin's oh, mom no. in Syracuse? Yeah. I don't see why not. Why don't we talk about it when we're so. done? All right. Good. A little charity work. Okay. Very He's good. He's always talking. All right. We're going to take a break. Thanks, guys. I gave it a, uh, I'd say, 45-degree angle. Good. Great to watch. A lot of fun, sounded pretty good. And you need to see him on a bigger stage. I'll go the same way. Maybe, maybe a little higher. 50, Not to outdo you. I mean, there's a lot of energy. I give these guys a lot of credit for coming down here and bringing all their equipment and all their stuff. And they got good shtick. I got to give it to them. The shtick rocks. How about it, Steve? I would say Howard Stern, Jesus Twins, for better or worse. Jesus Twins, they couldn't do any better. And Howard. He couldn't do any worse. <laughs> Based on the volume of bands out there, a six for a club, for, for a group that is very unrecognized, how can I be disappointed? Now, what you have to understand is that these are heavy metalists that are judging these guys. People in Motown would probably give them higher grades, like an eight or a nine. Here's what's going to happen. We're probably not going to appear at the premiere. We'll probably get free tickets anyway. We'll have a good time when we're in New York. These guys will still sign a label. They may not make as much money as I'd like, but I speculate that within a year, we sign a one-year contract and everything goes well. These guys, they'll live nicely. They really will. They'll be millionaires in a very short period of time. I think that right now, if I was to compare these guys with a pugilist, I'd say that right now... They're 7-0. They're not ready to fight for the championship. But then again, not many people are. So they're not championship fighters, but they're definitely undefeated. And right now, I'm very happy with the results. I'd say it was a major victory, huge victory, for a band that had no recognition coming into today's battle. How are the Jesus Twins? Big thing to... Uh... You just didn't like it? <laughs> I no, like don't dice.